Hello, a few kids. This is going to be your soulmate reading for March. Um, there's not going to be an extended reading to this because I didn't get any extended um, requests because a few kids is such a you know low watched video that um, I don't think I need to do an extended for this. Um, if that is not the case, if you would like to see an extended and you will, you're willing to purchase the extended, um, you can leave a comment below and I will do an extended. But as of right now, just to save time, I'm not going to do an extended because I do have to get third party readings done at some point. Okay. And I want to start doing April readings. So the first card out between you and your partner is the two of wands. If you need the reading special that I'm doing until the 15th, it might, I might extend it. You can check that out in the description below. Um, and personal readings are in the description below. Okay. So and the next card is the Justice card. This has been coming out a lot for all the fire signs almost. Okay, so this could be a Libra energy or it could be someone who um, is in between whether they should get a divorce or not. We have the Four of Pentacles as the challenge. So yes, someone's holding on to something here. There could be like uh, court issues that don't necessarily have to do with uh, divorce. It could be about children. Sorry, I'm going to light some sage. I just feel like I need to do that really quick. All right, um, then we have the Knight of Swords. This is Libra, Aries, uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini energy. Until I was just doing the fire signs. Show me what's going on with the Fucus and their partner. We've got the Nine of Wands. Yeah, there's a relationship or something that you're coming to an end with. Seven of Wands in the past. So there was some like someone that got blocked or um, blockages in communication, arguments. Knight of Swords is your crowning energy, so this can definitely be hostile energy. Show me a few kisses energy with their partner, their soulmate. This is for like soulmate reading. So if you're not dealing with the soulmate energy, it may not resonate. Three, two, one. So we have the high priestess and the uh, future. That's you, um, your energy. You have the two of swords as a mutual energy between you and your partner. So there's a lack of communication here, not speaking. Strength card external. So you could be done with a Leo. Signs I see here already is Libra, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. High Priestess could be Pisces energy or your energy of Fucus. And the strength card is Leo. We have the Knight of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. And then we have the Four of Swords as the outcome. So there's definitely a break that's going to be taken here. We got two fours, so um, definitely a more of a... It's a Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck is the overall energy. So I'm not seeing an end here. I'm not seeing... I feel like what could be going on, someone is in... Someone is like on the fence about a divorce here with the four of swords and um the four of swords and the two two of wands and the justice card someone may be thinking about divorcing or leaving a situation this could be you or your partner okay the four of swords as the outcome tells me again that there's still some sort of like break in communication you two aren't speaking right now high priestess is also talking about not speaking the strength card is here someone is hoping to get things back moving though okay with the knight of wands some of you are dealing with the sagittarius energy so this could be a person who resonates as Sagittarius, but they're in a Fucus as well. Or it could just be a Sagittarius, all right? Um, the Seven of Wands is in the past. So there was probably some sort of heated argument or some type of issue in the past where someone may have gotten blocked with the Seven of Wands. The Four of Pentacles as a challenge could tell me that you are closed off with this person. You're closed off with someone that you're supposed to be dealing with right now. For a lot of the the fucus males, this is going to resonate because it's your divine feminine you're not speaking with for some of you. Or it could be a same-sex couple. Why is the Four of Pentacles the challenge? The star card. So yeah, not speaking to each other and the Five of Pentacles. So not speaking to each other, but definitely missing each other, wanting to speak to each other. Someone may have a right that they have, like a wrong that they have to write. An apology needs to be had. Someone putting the past behind them. The Two of Swords, again, there's a lack of communication, strength card. There, I feel like your partner does want to speak to you, Ophicus, but they're not. Why is the Two of Swords the current energy? Why is the Two of Swords the current energy between Ophicus and their partner? The Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords Knight of Cups? So you could be dealing with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Water finally showed up. I don't know what I just got in my eye, but it is burning. Okay. <laughs> um... 
someone wants to 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 reconcile here six of wands someone actually wants to take things to the next level six of wands ten of cups someone wants to commit here there there's a there's a want for more here okay it's i'm not seeing an ending okay i do feel like some of you are on the fence about that though and i also feel like your partner may be dealing with someone that they are trying to they're thinking about leaving that could be what it is to a third party situation why is the four swords i'm gonna throw all these cards out at me huh see what they get coming out it's a lot of cards here i'm actually gonna put some of these back well let's see what we have here first yeah sun card <laughs> some of you are dealing with the fire sign energy aries taurus is here leo sagittarius is also here but i feel like the sag may be a, a, a an a fucus as well you know sagittarius there are people who resonate as sag but they're really a fucus which is hard for two of you as people to be in a relationship. It's a little crazy. All right. But either way, the Sun card, Five of Wands, and the Emperor tells me very much that someone's being petty. Okay. I Like petty as in like you guys could salvage this. There can be an apology had. There can be a reconciliation. But someone is just not doing it. And it could be out of pride. This could be you if you just because y'all can be prideful too. Okay. Don't get me up. Y'all can be prideful. It ain't just this person. It could be both of you that are doing this. You both want to reconcile. You both are comfortable with making moving things forward. But there's a lack of communication. The communication has to get rolling here. Someone's got to apologize or be able to put the past behind them. Someone's still blocked here, maybe with the Seven of Wands and High Priestess. So we might need to unblock someone. Okay. Um, now we have the Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands as the other three cards that are coming out. So again, someone is like, there's, there, Ace of Pentacles and Four of Wands is a new relationship that leads to commitment or a new start in a relationship that leads to commitment. And remember, and we did see the Six of Wands here. I don't know where the hell it went. I might have put it back in the deck. But the Six of Wands is also marriage, commitment, stability. Okay, it's being exalted. It's reconciling a situation. So honestly, I feel here with the Seven of Pentacles, someone is um, mulling this over in their mind. Like, okay, there's a new beginning that could lead to marriage. But someone is you know on the back burner trying to like mm, i don't know if i want to be with this seven of pentacles is like a do i really want to invest my time and energy back into this this also could be the person you're dealing with trying to figure out how to get you back in their life or this could be you doing this okay i don't see like a, i don't see why you got to this point with this person for a lot of you i'm not gonna lie it's like it may be it may have been serious at that time but it seems like it could have been like a petty argument of some sort okay if it was a third party situation then i understand but the five of wands is the only thing that i'm seeing here that's that's explaining to me why we're at this point the five of wands and the emperor card so the five of wands and the emperor card is telling me that y'all are keeping that same energy so to speak with this person like oh well you're not talking to me i'm not talking to you or I cut you off and I'm going to stay that way. The Knight of Swords is the crowning energy. Like I said, Knight of Swords can be arguments. Okay, let's see. Let's clarify this Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here for a Fucus and their partner's crowning energy? Some of you, it's a Gemini or someone may be dealing with a Gemini I'm hearing. Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Knight of Swords this over why is the knight of swords here the magician in reverse this is you a few is coming up in reverse i will say it's pretty dope that your high priestess in the magician is coming up in the um in the soulmate spread okay this is divine masculine divine feminine the only thing is the magician is coming up reverse i rarely read reverse cards so if it's coming out reverse it's meant to so this is telling me a few because this could be because of you this could be because of you got upset made a rash decision or it could be an Aries that did this why is the magician in reverse or your or the divine masculine energy in the partnership is not where it needs to be for the partnership to move forward that could be what it is six of wands and the ten of cups coming out again so whoever is the divine masculine in this situation because like I said it could be a same-sex couple um, I'm seeing Gemini here again or air signs Aquarius Libra Gemini so there may be an air sign involved here the divine masculine in the partnership has to become upright in order for this 
new beginning to start. I feel very strongly that you both want something committed. Yep, you both do. Two of Swords, Knight of Cups. You want to move forward. You want a higher level of commitment, even if it is just boyfriend, girlfriend. Because I feel like for a lot of you, this is like a friendship that could be more or someone that you have feelings for that it could be more, but you've never been in like a real stable relationship. This is something that is very, could be very stable. It can be very good for you and this person. I've been seeing this for a while for you guys. Ten of Pentacles was coming out a lot for you guys before and now the ten of cups so happiness stability you and this person are like very good together it's a good pair it's a good pair but there's very stubborn energy and i think someone's not mature enough for this relationship yet and it may not be you if you because it could be your partner i'm not saying i'm not putting it all on you i'm just saying i don't like that sometimes in readings a lot of readers will put it all on the other person and i'm not i'm I, i'm very middle i'm a middle person i try to see it both ways and it could be the afucus who is not up to date or the male of Fucus, maybe even the woman of Fucus, the high priestess is coming out upright. So I'm not necessarily seeing it being, and I'm not trying to be gender specific. I'm saying this is the divine masculine energy. So whoever resonates under the magician energy and the high priestess is also your energy as long as also with the world card. I all see those as a Fucus energies. So I feel like there may be a lack of maturity or a lack of growth that's needed in order to move this relationship forward. The Two of Swords also tells me it's a complicated situation. So there may be other parties involved, but there also could be a lack of financial stability. There could be a lack of emotional growth. Okay, so the Four of Swords is your current is your outcome. So this tells me that you guys are taking a break apart from each other to get things in order. This is not a month of forward movement, even though we're hoping for that with the Knight of Wands. You're both mutually hoping that the relationship moves forward. So that's a good thing. You both want to move the relationship forward. So it's just telling me that the work needs to be done on this off period between you two to get things rolling again. So don't take this as a bad thing. Don't take it as the worst thing ever. Just take this as a time to get things prepared because when these two come together, the high priestess and the magician the world better goddamn watch out okay this is what the world needs actually these types of relationships so when this person comes and gets right whoever this energy is this is going to be a very powerful union with the ten of cups and the knight of uh cups here okay it's going to be a very powerful union for you and this person okay so i think that april will look better so we'll look into april's reading again if you want to see the extended just let me know if you want to take advantage of the reading special is two questions for twenty dollars that's in the description as well and if you need a personal that's also in the description okay thank you so much if for being patient for your march reading and thank you for all the shares and comments it really helps get a fucus energy out there you guys know i'm all about 13 signs that's why my channel is called 13 signs okay so i will see you guys for April. Bye, Fugus.